when the market is bearish, just like it is now, you start to think, is it really worth investing in crypto? How to invest on the market safely? Which are the coins I should buy for the next bull run? In this video, I'm going to show you all the ways in which Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana differ from each other. You will learn why so many investors feel confident about putting their capital into these three cryptocurrencies and why I feel these are the coins for the next bull run for me. Because my strategy is to buy crypto when the market drops, just like now, and sell the crypto or swap to USDT or any stable coin when the market is on record highs. And usually I want to diversify the risk between different coins, but not just different by name, but by technology. Before we start, let me know in the comments which one you like the most, Bitcoin versus Ethereum versus Solana. And if you can decide, I hope this video will help you out. So stay with me, this is going to be super informative and I'm sure you will learn a lot. If you're ready, let's do it. Hi, my name is Petko Aleksandrov and today I'm gonna show you what makes Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana so attractive to investors and why I like to have them in my wallet for the next bull run. Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana differ in their source of value. For example, Bitcoin's value comes from its limited supply. As demand for Bitcoin increases, its price will also increase in the long term. Ethereum and Solana are not limited. Their value comes from other factors. For example, Ethereum is used to develop apps for gaming, NFT art and finance. This is why investors want Ethereum and I will talk more about that later in this video. Bitcoin versus Ethereum versus Solana. Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana are all in demand among traders. They traders like these cryptos. That's because they all change prices quickly enough for them to take a profit throughout the day. No matter which direction the market goes, we can make profits on both sides. When the market goes up, we can buy crypto, hold it and sell it on a higher price. When the market goes down, we can short Bitcoin for example and still make money. But that is risky and I will talk about shorting in another video. Now investors put money into these cryptos and some hope to hold them for years. Institutional investors purchase these cryptocurrencies because for them Bitcoin is a store of value. Ethereum and Solana are frameworks for finance. The cost of Solana is low when compared to Ethereum and Bitcoin. However, it has huge growth potential. That's partially due to its high true output. Solana can process 50,000 transactions in just one second. That's much faster than Ethereum. Also, Solana should grow to the point where it can process about 700,000 transactions per second. It's also easy to use for different applications. In this way, it's a direct competitor for Ethereum. Solana is optimized for use cases that directly affect consumers. For example, Solana can be used for gaming and NFTs. Solana is also a great option for micropayments. These are the factors that attract investors. There are already 400 projects on the Solana blockchain. All of these decentralized projects are successful. Solana is fairly recent release and it already has roughly 25% of the number of projects projects that are on Ethereum. Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana have differences because of their purpose. They were all developed to work in different ways. They were never meant to perform the same functions. Bitcoin is an alternative to national currencies. Bitcoin is designed to make money free from political interference. Bitcoin is also accepted as a store of value as I already said. Solana and Ethereum were not designed for these purposes. Solana was designed for speed. Solana was built in response to a growing need for fast blockchains. Ethereum 
can act as a store of value. However, it was also built to enable smart contracts. Ethereum was also developed to support apps that use it. All right, so which one is the better choice? Stay with me here because there are a few more important things. Bitcoin versus Ethereum. Bitcoin and Ethereum are both popular cryptos. Ethereum has applications far beyond Bitcoin, so Ethereum has become more popular because of its flexibility. Ethereum is also used with DeFi, or this is decentralized finance. DeFi is primarily based on Ethereum. In addition, Ethereum has helped the metaverse to grow. Bitcoin versus Ethereum for DeFi. DeFi is a financial system referring to decentralized finance. So the system removes intermediaries. As a result, it changes the way that transactions are done. Generally, most transactions take place with a go-between. For example, if you purchase something with your credit card, several parties are involved. This includes your bank and the payment processor. DeFi changes that framework. It relies on the blockchain, so it's peer-to-peer -peer system of a finance. DeFi is available on all blockchain that are public, however, it primarily uses Ethereum. There are many apps for users on DeFi. Generally, these apps are built on Ethereum. These apps are called decentralized apps or DApps. Since DeFi is relatively new, investors have to be careful with it. Ethereum grew by over 530% in 2021. Bitcoin doubled in value during that time. While BOT did well, Ethereum did better than Bitcoin. Transactions. Transactions on the Ethereum network are different from those on the Bitcoin blockchain. Ethereum transactions may contain executable code. This is why Ethereum has become known for smart contracts. Transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain don't have executable code. The Bitcoin blockchain isn't used for smart contracts. Transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain might contain data. However, this data is used for note taking. Network speed. The Ethereum network is really fast. In contrast, the Bitcoin blockchain is slow. This is one of the reasons why alternatives to Bitcoin were developed. Transactions on the Ethereum blockchain are completed in seconds. On the other hand, Bitcoin transactions usually take minutes. Now from what you have heard, I will leave it on you to decide if Bitcoin or Ethereum is the better solution. Ethereum versus Solana. Ethereum launched in 2015. On the other hand, Solana launched much more recently in 2020. Both Ethereum and Solana are growing rapidly. Both cryptos performed well in 2021. Ethereum has more projects than Solana on its platform. Ethereum has 3000 projects, on the other hand Solana has over 400 projects. Those projects include exciting applications such as a store for NFTs. I personally believe these blockchain platforms might continue to grow in 2022, even the prices are decreasing at the beginning of the year. So you might be wondering which one you should buy today. Should you buy Ethereum, which has a proven track record, or should you buy Solana, which has been growing in leaps and bounds? Speed. Solana is a faster network than Ethereum. Transactions can be completed more quickly on the Solana blockchain. Imagine a world where most of your transactions are almost instantaneous. That's what developers are aiming for with the applications that they built on Solana. Solana could offer serious competition to Ethereum in several areas. Gamers may choose to use Solana instead of Ethereum. Traders shift their money to where the activity is. If traders think that Solana is in demand because of its usefulness, they'll start to purchase it more. This will increase its market cap at the same time. Fees. 
We said that Solana does more transactions than Ethereum per minute. That's not the only difference in transactions with these two blockchains. Solana is also more affordable. Ethereum has high fees. With it, you will pay a base fee to have miners verifying your transaction. This fee increased because NFTs grew in popularity. As you can imagine, a lot of people who have investments that are based on it want to find ways to reduce the high transaction fees. Transaction fees are lower with Solana. These factors help Solana to soar almost 12 thousand percent in 2021 currently it's the fifth largest crypto by market cap if we don't count the stable coins so overall solana seems to be performing better than ethereum in several areas although it launched in 2020 it's already processing about 1900 transactions per second in contrast ethereum is so congested that it only processes 16 transactions per second nowadays 16 versus 1900 all right let's talk about bitcoin versus solana some investors think that bitcoin and solana are both good buys right now developers who are building apps for nfts need a platform that's quick Solana is ideal for mining NFTs. That's because it's both cheap and quick. In fact, Solana has the best utility of the three platforms discussed in this video. Trust. Bitcoin has been around for a while. People in many nations trust it. Additionally, Bitcoin currently commands the lion's share of the crypto market. Generally, Bitcoin satisfies the criteria of most traders, but you should always do your due diligence before investing in any crypto. Investors often use fundamentals to assess cryptos. Bitcoin's track record gives it a significant advantage. In comparison to Bitcoin, Solana is new that makes some traders hesitate about investing in it for the long term. However, day traders or scalpers plan to enter and exit trades quickly. They consider fundamentals but rely more on technical indicators. So Solana's performance over the last 10 months won't always affect their decisions. NFTs and DeFi. Many investors think that Bitcoin is valuable for storing their money. However, those investors wouldn't put money in Bitcoin if they wanted to invest in the metaverse. Solana and Ethereum are better choices for NFTs. Solana is an even better choice than Ethereum because of its speed. Solana is also scalable. This means that its speed will not be affected as the network grows. Peer-to-peer -peer transfers are done at a lower cost than with its competitors. Transaction fees on Solana will always be below 0.01 of a dollar. Solana wants to be the most popular blockchain for crypto apps. Its work is paying off. Lots of NFTs have launched on this blockchain. So a lot of artists and other creative people have gotten involved in cryptocurrency just because of this. In addition, Solana has partnerships with established companies like Opera Browser. Solana has a a higher block time and block size than Bitcoin. This is why fees are so much lower than those for Bitcoin. Solana's block time is only 0.4 seconds. No one knows how far Solana is headed and as with all other cryptocurrencies, you should do your due diligence before investing in it. However, Many US traders think that it has a lot of potential for growth because of all the factors that I have discussed in this video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to tell me which is your profitable crypto in the comments below. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like before you go. This will push the video to a brand new audience and if they do the same, it would be just awesome. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel where I share valuable tips on 
cryptocurrency trading, NFTs, and everything that involves money. Go grab some free Bitcoin from the links below in the description and track them automatically on my spreadsheet, which you can find on the Patreon's page. Thank you for watching. I love you. Stay safe and I will see you again. Cheers. Oh, <laughs>